going to be doing the unfortunate vocabulary tag, which is a video challenge created by the unfortunate read-along that goes along with books 1 through 13 of a series of unfortunate events throughout the entire month of October. This week we are doing books 4 through 6, which include The Miserable Mill, The Austere Academy, and The Airsats Elevator. I'm here to apologize for the blurriness of this face. My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think. So this video challenge is created because Lemony Snicket is notorious for using a lot of words that most people do not know to help people expand their vocabulary and teach them to read things that are a higher reading level. This challenge usually includes three to five words that people may not know. I'm going to be doing a little bit more than three to five words because I really just can't choose between them. I'm going to read the words and their definitions and explain it a little bit. Anyway, let's get started. The word obstreperous means a person or a thing that is often noisy or difficult to control. Then there are three words that are very similar. There's trucellant, pugnacious, and bellicose. All three of those words mean a person who is eager or quick to get into a fight. Obsquatulate. I really like that word because it means to leave a place very quickly, and I feel like a lot of authors get stuck in saying like, oh, the character ran out of the room. And I think that's also a very boring way of saying, oh, the person left very quickly. If you say the word obsquatulate, then I think that's a very interesting way of grabbing the reader. Another word that I really enjoy is the word barmicide. The word barmicide means imaginary thing that has caused you to be disappointed because it's imaginary. So in this case, I would have to say like a time where you were sleeping and you really enjoyed what was happening in your dream and when you woke up you realized it wasn't real. That is barmicide. You are disappointed in the fact that it is imaginary. Blatherskite. I feel like I often am a blatherskite. A person who talks a lot and rambles a lot and doesn't necessarily make a ton of sense most of the time. Baborgamous. I think this word is really fascinating because it is both hilarious and kind of gross sounding, which definitely fits the definition. If you're sitting in a room, you're writing with a pencil, it's very quiet, and in a room full of people, and all of a sudden your intestines or your stomach starts to gurgle, that's what the word baborgamous is. It means intestinal gurgling. Famulus. Famulus means an assistant who generally helps a magician or um, a scholar, and I would like to also assume that it is synonymous with the word apprentice because I think that that's kind of what an assistant is too. Then there's this really hard word to say that I'm going to butcher, so I'm sorry in advance, but it's really long. I'm going to show it here. It's flossinosinilipilification. That word means the action of estimating something to be worthless or basically underestimating something. Deracinate, which means to pull something up by its roots. A lot of the time, rather than just talking about pulling plants up by their roots, we talk about breaking someone's foundations down. And I think that using the word deracinate, we could say something about how you're pulling, you know, you're, you're breaking a character down by the roots, you're deracinating them. Consenity, elegance or neatness of literary or artistic style, and Lemony Snicket is extremely elegant in the way that he writes and Sorcel. To enchant or fascinate another human. And if you see a homeless person or a beggar on the street and you want a better word for them that most people don't know, you can call them a Gabberlunzi. And if you want to talk about how you're wasting time, you could say you're futzing around. The word futz means to waste time. Inspisate means to thicken or congeal something. I think that when you're talking about thickening a plot, it would be really fun to say you're inspissating the plot. Then there's also the word lucilent. The word lucilent means coherent thought or clearly expressing something, which oftentimes I don't, so I would like to become more lucilent. Mumsimus, which means a traditional custom that has been proven to be unreasonable and yet we still practice it. Snake bitten. Snake bitten is perfect for the series because it talks about a person who is constantly misfortunate. Another word that is perfect for this series is triskaidekaphobia. Triskaidekaphobia is the superstition of the number 13. So if you are afraid of the number 13, you probably will not be reading this series because there are 13 books. However, I think that that number 
definitely embodies the feeling behind um, the series because it is probably something that I don't know I'm just speaking at this point and being a other skeet this was extremely fun this is a challenge I have for you I would love to see how many of these words you can use either in a paragraph in a, a short story or a poem and if you send those to me I will pick some of my favorite ones and read it on my channel I'm so excited to see what you come up with more points to people who can use more words and extra points to people who use all of the words. They have to flow well, it has to make sense, but I'm really excited to see where you guys go with this. So anyway, this has been super fun. I'm glad to teach you guys some new words that I also learned and love, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and space travels. My name's Blurry Face and I